I'll connect to a PowerFlex 525 drive using Ethernet and the Rockwell Connected Components Workbench Standard Edition software. The most important part of working with drives is establishing communications and I will show you how to do this. Right now I'm just going to show you around the software and then we'll take it from there. I'll show you some of the things that you can do and I'm sure it'll motivate you to learn this. Now, I'm going to connect. I've already set up the uh, Ethernet and our connections and I'll show you how to do that, but we'll just go ahead and connect. And now what happens is anything that we change in the software, it will automatically update or synchronize in the drive. And we have an overview pane on the left. We can have a look at our parameters. And there are numerous parameters. Scroll all the way down. The yellow ones are the ones I've adjusted. 731. All right, so as with uh, setting up drives out of the box, you usually have a quick setup or getting started guide, then you have a powerful user manual. You can do the same in the software and I'll show you what I mean. So we can look at the parameters, we can look at faults and alarms by going online. Uh, you can look at your device info, your uh, firmware revision number. You might want to update it. And wizards and your address, your ethernet address and other communication info. So I'll click on wizards and we'll quickly have a look at the startup wizard. And I'll show you what you can do with this. It's pretty cool. So it's uploading from the drive. Seems to be a little bit slow. It's in the afternoon. It's tired, I guess. And opened in a separate window. It's got your revision, software revision of the wizard. Your reset parameter screen so you can reset the factory. You have options on what you want to reset. You may not want to reset your communications. You won't be able to get back online. You can choose your language in the wizard. It's pretty cool. Motor control. Now you're talking about your types of motor control. Constant torque, variable torque, permanent magnet, etc. Boost start boost, voltage, your motor data, that's your standard motor data off your nameplate, feedback. Now we're talking, here we're talking uh, if you've got an encoder feedback. Pretty advanced drive. Your brake mode, your direction test. Okay, so this is a good one. Let's have a look at this one. So what we'll do here is we'll test the direction by just giving it a little bump with the jog. And then release. I just jogged it. We'll say it's going the right direction. Click yes. Click next. Now we can go to auto tune. Now we won't auto tune this time. It'll take too long. I will show you that once we go through the communication setup again. Check your ramps. Nice little graphic on your ramp. Right now we've got it set to two seconds A cell and two seconds D cell. Doesn't show your second ramp, so it's an advanced parameter. Speed control, right now it's set to ethernet. We have all these other options when you're done, you might want to set it to drive pot. Set it back to ethernet for now. And then you've got your ethernet configuration. Pretty powerful stuff, but you can't get to this unless you set it up ahead of time. We'll go through that. Digital inputs, so you've got all your physical wiring points. You can set them up very easily from this screen. It's a great way to go. Your relay outputs, we can program those to any drive variable. Look at all the variables that we can do. Could you imagine doing that from the front panel? Buttons, crazy. Uh, opto isolated outputs, same thing. We can change the logic on them. We can assign them to any of these variables. Lots of control, lots of things we can do. We can scale our analog outputs. Okay, now when we get down to the end, it'll say we have some changes. Our wizard step 
direction test. We tested the direction and we completed it successfully. No changes were made by the direction test. All right, so we'll close this. Um, we'll just click yes, we didn't make any changes anyway. Okay, now, what you can do with the, with the, the software, when you notice this green bar across the top, we are synchronized. You can go down to this control bar. So if you're in a troubleshooting situation, you can take control of it, or if you just want to run it from the software in your PC, you can do it. So we can just jog. Okay, give it a bump. You can check, we can change directions. Jog it in the opposite direction. Change it back. And we can run it. And we can use this as a speed reference. We can flip directions. And so on, really cool. Great for setting up, you can measure your current. There's a monitoring window that allows you to monitor the current while you're running it. So now what I'll do is I'll activate the stop button and shut it off. So now we will spend some time setting up the communications. I just wanted to show you the capabilities of the software. It is free. I'll have a copy of it in the resources section of this, this lesson. Okay, so we'll move on now.